Hello, Integrated Math One. Welcome to our first day of boot camp. How's it going? We're just going to review a few little things to make sure you're ready for Integrated Math One this year. And the first thing we're going to be going over is integers, positive numbers, negative numbers, zero. You know them, you love them, but we forget them, especially those darn little negatives. So let's start off by talking about what happens when we add our integers together. So we do have a few rules to help us out. If you are adding together two negative numbers, you just add up those magnitudes, you add those guys together, and you have a negative answer. If I give you some negatives and I add on more negatives, I just have a whole bunch of negatives, don't I? Um, you know how to add positive numbers. That's not a surprise if they're both positive. Again, you just add them together and they're positive. If I have a certain number of positives and I give you more positives, you just have a whole bunch more positives, don't you? Where it starts to get tricky for some students and where we forget things is when we're adding a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive. That's when we actually need to find the difference between the magnitudes because positives and negatives will cancel each other out. So you need to find the difference between your magnitudes. And the sign of the number with the larger magnitude is going to be the sign of your answer. So if you are adding together a positive and a negative, if there's more negatives, your answer will be negative. If there's more positives, your answer will be positive. And just to give you a real quick look, sorry, my camera's in the way there. Um, just to give you a real quick look, if you were to add negative three and five, well, the difference between three and five is two and there's more positives, five is bigger than three, right? There's more positives, so it would be a positive two for our answer. Negative three plus five gives me a positive two. If I had negative five plus three, well, negative five and a positive three, those are different signs, so we need to find the difference. The difference is two between five and three. But remember, five is bigger than three, and my five is negative. So there's more negatives than positives. So that means negative five plus three is a negative two. So watch out for that. Keep an eye out for that. If they're the same sign, who cares? Add them together and keep the sign, baby. If they're different signs, you actually need to find the difference between the two and the bigger number sign wins. That's how that's going to go. So I have, of course, um, one other little thing before we get into it too far. When you're subtracting integers, please remember that you can rewrite it as addition, right? So if I have four minus six, I can actually rewrite that as four plus a negative six. Or if I have four minus a negative six, the opposite of a negative is a positive. So instead of four minus a negative six, I can rewrite that as four plus six. Um, opposite of a negative is, of course, a positive, so it became a plus sign, yay us. So I do have a whole bunch of problems for you guys to try out. Go ahead and hit pause, try out all of these lovely problems, shouldn't take you long, and then hit play when you're ready to check your work. So we start off nice and easy, right? Five plus seven is 12. Yay, they're both positive. We know that one. Um, so five plus seven, a positive five, and a positive seven is a positive 12. Negative five plus a negative seven. Well, they're both negative, so that means I should be adding them together. Five and seven is 12, and because they're both negative, that will make it a negative 12. So if I have five negatives and I give you seven more negatives, I now have 12 negatives. Negative five plus seven, this is where we want to start watching out and being careful. Well, uh, five negative, it's a negative five and a positive seven. Seven is bigger, so my answer will be positive, whatever it is, because seven's bigger, he wins. And of course, the difference between five and seven is two, so my answer is a positive two. Five plus a negative seven, well, there are different signs, a positive five and a negative seven. That means we need to find the difference between these guys, which is, of course, two. And seven is bigger than five, so it's a negative two. He wins. Um, for these guys, I went ahead and rewrote them all as addition. That's how I started off. So instead of five plus seven, I did five plus negative seven. And we already know that's a negative two. We just did that. 
Um, for this guy, 5 minus a negative 7, well, the opposite of a negative is a positive. So I rewrote it as negative 5 plus 7, which we did earlier. There it is, and we know that that answer is 2. Um, negative 5 minus 7, that sometimes messes with my head, so I rewrote it as negative 5 plus a negative 7, which we did earlier. We know that's a negative 12. And of course, 5 minus a negative 7, the opposite of a negative is a positive. So I rewrote that as 5 plus 7, which is, of course, just 12. Makes things easier, doesn't it? So hopefully you got the swing of this. Again, it's not new. We're just kind of getting our minds back in the game. And of course, we also multiply and divide these guys, right? When you're multiplying or dividing integers, please remember these rules. That a negative times a negative gives us a positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. A positive times a negative is a negative. And of course, a positive times a positive is a positive, so there you go. So if the signs are the same and you multiply them together, you're gonna end up with a positive answer. The signs are different and you multiply them together, you're gonna end up with a negative answer. So I would like you to go ahead and try these out. Go ahead and hit pause to work these through and then hit play when you're ready to check your work. These aren't that bad, right? Um, five times seven is 35. They're both positive, so it's a positive 35. Negative five times a negative seven. Negative times a negative is a positive 35. Negative five times a positive seven. Negative times a positive gives us a negative 35. And a positive five times a negative seven. Well, positive five times a negative seven. Positive times a negative gives us a negative 35. All right, guys, hope you found this helpful. If you need anything, just let me know. Come see me during office hours. Email me, raise your hand, talk to me. I'm here for you. See you in a bit. Bye.